Hey Crossway, this month's book recommendation is a book by Athanasius of Alexandria called On the Incarnation. And this is a perfect book to read heading into Advent or Christmas season. Now, I don't know if you've heard of Athanasius before. He is a theologian and church leader from the fourth century, um, an African minister from Alexandria, Egypt. And again, as I mentioned, he lived in the fourth century, and he's probably best um, known for contending for an orthodox, proper, sound, biblical understanding of the doctrine of Christ, who Jesus was, namely that Jesus was God, and he was contending against a heretic from that time named Arian, um, or Arius, and his followers, the Arians. Um, and so his life was characterized by this battle for orthodoxy. He was actually exiled five different times in his fight for the truth. And at one point in his life, he wrote a book called On the Incarnation. And it is a must read. I use that, I use that term lightly. I read a lot, as you know. And um, I would only say that about books that are, are really, really important and really good. And this is one of those. This is a book that I think everyone should try to read at some point. Um, it's, uh, it's not terribly long. It's only about 100 pages, a little over 100 pages or so. Try to find a good translation of it so it's a little bit more readable um, because it is an older book. But it's worth the read and worth the effort. Um, and so in this uh, book, what Athanasius sets out to do is explain why God became man on the incarnation. That word incarnation means uh, the, the becoming of flesh, God becoming human, which again is exactly why this is a perfect book to read during Advent season or Christmas time to reflect on why Christ became a human for us. And now Athanasius, what he's going to argue in his book is he's going to argue the, the reason that God became human was because um, Adam and Eve, humanity, was created in the image of God with immortality. Um, we experienced eternal life in communion with God. But when we turned our own way, we broke fellowship with God, which meant that we fell into corruption. And from that point on, who we were meant to be was broken. Um, Athanasius is going to focus largely on that theme of death, that not just like we would typically think of it in terms of when we, when we rebelled against God, we became guilty. Um, Athanasius, of course, understands that. But for him and his sort of tradition and where he's coming from, he, he places a good emphasis on the fact that we are, our, our very human nature is broken, that we, are, we don't live the way we ought to live as God created us to. And that that's, you could describe that condition as death, ultimately leading to our physical death as well. And so we're in need of restoration, he would say. We're in need of resurrection. And so what he sees the incarnation doing is God actually entering into our human nature in order to bear our corruption for us, in order to uh, experience death on our behalf, face death for us, um, face our corruption, and then not only so, but then resurrect from the dead, thereby everyone who's now united to Jesus and connected to him by faith, they too are raised back to a state of incorruptibility. And so again, Athanasius, his focus is really helpful for us in our kind of evangelical circles, American evangelical circles today, we tend to focus a lot on what we might call more the forensic aspect of salvation with guilt and punishment. And of course, Athanasius understands that. But he's really helpful in helping us understand, you know, why the incarnation itself even contributed to our salvation. Not merely as a vehicle for Jesus to sort of become human so that he can die for sins, but that Jesus becoming human, that itself contribute something significant to our salvation on its own terms in the sense of Jesus actually raising our humanity back to a position of being incorruptible. And so through Jesus, we now experience eternal life. Death is defeated in Jesus' death and our resurrection will one day be, um, will be experienced by us on account of the fact that Christ, our, our, our representative, has been raised from the dead. 
So again, I hope that sort of whets your appetite to pick up this book, a great book to read during Advent season. I really encourage you to go do that, pick it up. You can get it for free as like a PDF online. It's public domain, obviously. If you wanna pick up a copy, it's not too expensive, a physical copy that is. And as always, if you'd like to read the book and chat with me afterwards, I'd love to do that. We can grab coffee. Just go ahead and let me know.